Is there a program for podcasters that will record audio and video together? But let's take this a step further. How do we get it to record audio and video together with a split screen if you are interviewing someone for your video podcast? I got that answer coming up next. Thanks so much for watching this week. I really appreciate it. My name is the Shan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and a podcast producer. And today we are talking about whether or not there is a program that exists for podcasters that will record audio and video together, which we all know this exists. But how do we get it to create a split screen without any type of post-production? Uh, how do we get the final product to be a split screen if we're talking or interviewing someone else? Now, uh, at this point in time, as we are in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, people are looking for more uh, resources and tools to interview their guests so that they can create either podcasts, video podcasts, whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, I hope that I can at least provide to you uh, just another reason why you should be using some of these programs. All right. So last week we talked about using Zoom, and I think we're pretty much all educated on the fact that you can use Zoom to record a podcast. Um, there's also Skype Meet Now, also Google Meet. I mean, it seems like there is a a, uh, a new service that is cropping up every week uh, wh where you can record your own podcast. So you're more than welcome to use any of these programs themselves. But when it comes down to it, the barrier of entry to get in to have someone come in, uh, say a guest to be interviewed by you, the barrier of entry is a little more difficult and it's more traditional than anything else. It requires the guest to have an email address and then sign up for an account via either Skype or whether it be Google Meet Now or Google Meet, uh, whereby Zoom, you name it. So um, I do know those companies are doing their best to um, uh, make the barrier of entry a little less difficult, but there is a program out there right now that basically eliminates the idea of having to create an account and just having the guests come in and uh, and create you know podcasting with you or create a, an episode with you. And that particular program is called StreamYard. So we're going to do a tutorial today on StreamYard. Before we get to that, I want to remind you that if you are a brand new podcast, and or maybe you're a podcaster that's been going for a while but you haven't gotten the equipment that you're looking for don't forget to download my essential equipment guide that is available for you right now it was sh shares with you all the equipment that I use not only for this particular YouTube video but uh, all the podcasts that I end up producing as well the link for that guide is down in the description of this YouTube video so go ahead and click on it download it today and maybe you can uh, choose the equipment that I'm recommending or maybe even mix and match equipment that you think might work best for you so today Today we're going to talk, like I said, about StreamYard. StreamYard is a wonderful program. And the first time that I actually used StreamYard was when I gave a talk for International Podcast Day. My friend Dave invited me to do a presentation with International Podcast Day. And he said, we're going to be using StreamYard. And I thought, well, what's StreamYard? He goes, dude, trust me. It's like the most, it's the easiest thing that you can do uh, when it comes down to interviewing guests. And I was like, oh, okay. So how it worked was basically StreamYard as a content content creator. Let's start from the content creator perspective. If you're a content creator, you start a StreamYard account and you basically can uh, stream live video directly to your YouTube. It could be a Facebook group. It could be a Facebook profile, uh, a page, uh, but you can also go to Periscope. You can go to Twitch as well. And so you can broadcast one broadcast and disseminate it or distribute it to all of these different social media networks without having to check all the networks networks and making sure that everything is connecting together. This is why we call it StreamYard. It just streamlines the entire process. So you as the content creator have the control and can see everything that is going on across those social platforms. But from the guest perspective, you are getting a very simple, easy to join uh, process. Uh, so basically what the what happens is that the content creator is going to share an invite link to you, the guest, and then the guest is going to enter into a chat. And then of course, from there, the content creator can start this video podcast or however you make it and uh, start recording immediately. So I will show you exactly how we do this. So my friend Dave has used it. Uh, Andy Lyons, who is a subscriber of this particular YouTube channel, she has been using it for her video podcast. She 
shout out to Andy because I, I was on her podcast a few weeks back and we used StreamYard. And then just recently, my sister told me that she is now using StreamYard for her video podcast called Command the Courtroom. So you can go check out uh, Command the Courtroom over on YouTube and you can see her doing uh, a video podcast and see how she's operating it on top of her uh, her program itself. All right. So we're going to go ahead and jump in to uh, StreamYard right now. Let's just get this out of the way. When we start and we, we want to start a StreamYard account, it's, it's going to be very simple, okay? Um, I don't think I need to walk you through the process of, of opening an account, but it's very, very simple, okay? All you need to do is go to StreamYard.com, and then from there, you're going to enter in, I believe, an email address, and then StreamYard is going to send you a specific code to your email, and then from there, that specific code is going to be something that you enter back into StreamYard. So once you enter an, an email address into StreamYard, you're going to be taken to a screen saying, enter this code well that code will have been sent to your email address and then copy and paste it into there once you have done that then you're going to be able to jump into StreamYard yourself all right so now this is where we're going to go ahead and jump into StreamYard, and i'll give you a a a step-by-step -step tutorial on how we're using StreamYard. okay so when we come into StreamYard, you're typically going to be brought to this screen or maybe you might be asked to connect some destinations all right so we can create a broadcast right away but what we really need to do first is we need to create a destination where do we want to send this particular piece of, uh, of of media or this piece of content all right so I'm gonna go ahead and click right here on destinations and you can see right here that I already have my YouTube channel set up. It's already set up. It's ready to go. So anytime I go live inside of StreamYard, it's going to push that live video feed over to my YouTube channel and I can start recording instantly right there. But if I wanted to add more destinations, all I need to do is just add a destination. And you can see here, just like I mentioned earlier, there are different areas in which you can do um, live video feeds. So you can go to your Facebook page, group or profile. Um, if you have access access to LinkedIn, you can do LinkedIn page, LinkedIn profile, but you see also here we have YouTube channel, Periscope, and then of course Twitch, and then custom RTMP. Uh, I believe that is for like, if you're using a Wirecast or you're using an OBS, that is probably where you would need to go there. But uh, other than that, these are the destinations where you typically would see live video feeding. But for right now, we're just going to focus on a YouTube channel. So if you need, so here's how it's gonna work. You're going to need to click on one of these and you need to give YouTube access so you're gonna see here it's saying where are you you know choose an account in which you want StreamYard to use your account you're going to choose the account that you want here and then of course you're going to give approval for StreamYard to go ahead and start using your account to stream video to your YouTube channel so as we said mine already is a setup and once that's set up and you've approved and allowed permission for everything you can come back in and you can connect more or you can just say okay we're done we, we can go to broadcast so in in this case we're going to go to broadcast and you see two tabs up here on the top and you see upcoming broadcasts and past broadcasts now I've done some test broadcasts in the past so if we go ahead and click here you can see that I did a couple of test broadcasts in fact I'm re-recording this video because my video file got corrupted so I have to re-record uh, the video itself, but you can see here are some tests right here, YouTube video test. If I wanted to delete these tests, I could go ahead and delete them. Um, yes, and delete them on YouTube. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory uh, on how you can utilize this part of StreamYard. So from there, what we can do is we can go ahead and start our very first broadcast, create a broadcast, all right? And here we're gonna go ahead and click on it and we need to broadcast to two. So uh, we'll say we wanna broadcast to my Facebook, also my Periscope and YouTube. I would select each and every one of these destinations that I wanna go to. But in this case, we only have YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and select YouTube and it brings up fields as if you were going to um, uh, fill out a YouTube uh, live feed uh, you know, uh, description or title. Okay. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and say YouTube or we'll say StreamYard, StreamYard test, test two, because I am doing this test. This is a test of StreamYard and YouTube together. Exclamation point. Cause we're excited. 
Now, just as you would see if you were to upload anything onto YouTube, you can see here what are the privacy settings. How do you want people to see this? Do you want the, don't want do you want it to go public? Do you want it to stay unlisted? Do you want it to be private? How do you want to deal with this? All right. So in this case, if you are recording uh, just a podcast and you don't want an audience, you can come on over here and you can uh, click on unlisted. And in this case, we are going to be selecting unlisted because um, I just want to share with you the example, and I don't want this going live to my particular YouTube channel. All right. But let's say we are scheduling guests out in the future. You can, of course, uh, click the checkbox here and you can say, okay, I want to schedule this out for a future date. All right. So in this case, let's say we want to schedule this out for like really far out in advance, October 31st, and we'll say 9.30 PM, or we could say AM, doesn't matter. Um, and then of course here we can upload our image and then you can see here, uh, how, where does this image go? This says, uh, this will be used as a preview image before you go live. So the preview image, you're going to see what that preview image looks like here. There's, uh, there's, uh, uh, <clears throat> default preview images that StreamYard gives you. And then there's the custom images that you would actually have to, um, upgrade into a different account in order to have this happen. But for right now, we're just going to leave this blank. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and click create broadcast and it's going to create that broadcast for us. So now it's scheduled out. So that we can, you know, get ready. We can actually start prepping our guests. So if you wanted to, at any point in time, you wanted your your guest to say, "I need to test your microphone and I want to test your internet connection. Uh, can you meet me on Thursday at 2 p.m.?" and they say, "Yeah, okay." You go, "Okay, I'm going to be sending you a link to my Streamyard, and that will uh, that will give you access, and we can go ahead and do a test, and then uh, and then we'll do the real uh, interview the following week." So this is really a great way to test all the equipment so that you don't have any you know flaws in the beginning before anything all right so in this case what we're going to do is we're going to enter the broadcast studio. So you see the button, enter broadcast studio. If you look on more here, you can see, uh, you can invite a guest if you want. This button is also available in the broadcast studio, but you could go ahead and you can jump on over here and see like, you can even see what it looks like on YouTube. So if we clicked on that, it'll show you, um, it'll show you what it's going to look like on YouTube. And mine's just gonna show uh, like a, a card itself that is something is being scheduled out. So once this loads up, you'll be able to see that um, there is a YouTube card available so you can see right there it's available in 182 days i don't know why my internet is super slow right now but it's it's crazy crazy slow maybe we need to uh adjust the internet connection right there but uh, yeah you see the card coming up and of course it's scheduled out so you know we don't need to see that right now so we're just going to go ahead and click out of that and we are going to actually enter into the broadcast studio so let's enter the broadcast studio And you can see here as you jump into the broadcast studio, it is taking you to a particular screen. This is where you can test your own audio to start out. Okay, so this next screen is going to show you well which which mics and which cams should I be using. So um, right now I've already have I already have my Logitech C920 already connected and my uh, Yamaha MG10XU uh, connected. So you can see that there are the meters that are registering my voice. But if you need to change that, you just come in here, and of course you can change the webcam so if we change it to my facetime webcam is probably going to come up all weird or just black yeah so yeah there it goes so it's just well yeah see so you could kind of see me uh but uh and the c920 is covering it so we'll just go ahead and make sure that we have the c920 uh ready you can change the definition uh the highest it goes is 720p and then the audio if you wanted to go ahead and choose say your default internal microphone for your laptop or maybe it's a webcam microphone that is for you but in this case your microphone it is should be if you're using the uh, mg10xu from yamaha that should be the one that you are selecting so that you're getting the quality audio and then of course uh, i have mine selected as far as how i'm going to hear my guest i have the speaker selected as the mgxu and uh, of course you can do a test of the audio to make sure the audio is coming over <laughs> Yeah, so you hear that the uh, angelic music comes over, so we all know that everything is working fine. We're gonna go ahead and uh, click out of this, and we are set to go. Now, we can also change our name if we wanted to, you know, so I could change it in real time, and I could say like, you know, the Shan Man if I wanted to, but for this case, we're just gonna say Shannon Hernandez, and we'll just make sure we keep that in um, as my, my, in my name, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and enter the broadcast studio, and now that we're in the broadcast studio, we are not live yet, okay? 
There's nothing that has gone live. We haven't pushed this to YouTube. We have not pushed this to Facebook. We will do that at a later a later point in the video, okay? So I want to just kind of give you a tutorial of what we've got going on here, okay? So once you jump into StreamYard, it's very, very simple. Your video is going to be the default video that's going to show up. You can see it down here in the lower left-hand corner. And you see that video of me. There's like video that's kind of shaded out. Um, well, this means that there's someone in queue, all right? Or I'm in queue right now. And if I wanted to go ahead and add this to the stream, I could go ahead and say, yes, I want to add my video to the stream. And hi, there, there I am. I'm, I'm added to the stream. So um, you can add this or you can remove remove from the stream. You can see that there's a little pop up window that says your audio was removed. Add yourself back in by using the layout buttons if you want. And we'll talk about the layout buttons here in a second. So we're just going to go ahead and add myself back in. So the video is um, streaming right now, but nothing is going to YouTube. Remember that. Okay. So here we can go ahead and say like, all right, I can mute my mic if I wanted to, or I can unmute my mic. I can stop the cam. Um, if I wanted to, but have audio, I believe only going. So you can see there's just the audio, but we can uh, re-engage the audio and then we can just adjust the settings here again, if we wanted to go back and adjust the settings, but we don't need to do that. You also have the opportunity to, um, uh, you know, uh, share your screen for, as a guest. All right. So as a guest, if I want to share a screen uh, I can come here and I can choose which screen that I want to share so um, I have here let's see I've got three monitors so we're gonna go ahead and do screen two and we're gonna go ahead and say like okay we're gonna stream that one and we want to add it to the stream so you see it automatically uh, changed it on over there so you see that here is um, my uh, the back end of my YouTube for my comments. If I wanted to change this up and it would, I just wanted it to be me, I could just go ahead and make the window a little smaller and then have me as the split screen right there. Um, or maybe I just want the entire window to be the presentation itself. That's something that you can do as well. So you have all these options with these different screens right here. But let's say that you invite your well, let's let's back up first. So if we want to remove the presentation, we can go ahead and remove the presentation ourselves. So go ahead and remove from stream and uh, of course we can click right here um to stop sharing now i should make this as a note that this works best if you're using google chrome or firefox so i would recommend that you're using google chrome for, or firefox and your guest is using chrome or firefox as well so this will make it a lot easier for you okay so let's say that we wanted to go ahead and invite a guest over so i go ahead and i click on this invite button and i have a link right here and hit, this is a very specific link that i would be sending to my particular guest so i would copy this and copy it to the clipboard then i would come i would send i would come on over to my email and i would send an email on over uh to my friend either mark or my friend dominic and say join me here and what will happen is they will join in the uh in this particular part of Streamyard, and they're going to show up as a box down here in the lower left hand corner as like um you know that you know shaded out just like how i was earlier and th what's going to happen on their end is that they're going to have to enable some permissions they're going to have to enable their camera and their microphone and it's very simple they don't need to log in with any username or anything like that that link just takes them directly into this stream yard green room so that's what this is it's a it's a green room so that you can prepare your guest for the interview that you are going to be having so this is like the old days of google plus and Google Hangouts. This is what happened when you did a Google Hangout back in the day. So StreamYard has brought that over and they're telling people, yeah, you can still do these types of things, but now we're able to distribute video to multiple platforms. So that's what makes this very, very fun and interesting and um, makes it fun for you to promote your podcast and get it out there. So let's go ahead and jump in and let's look at a little bit more here when it comes down to this interface. Here we have the comments. These are going to be comments that are showing up uh, uh, live, you know, so they could be coming up live. So if you were broadcasting this to YouTube, Facebook and Periscope, each one of those videos are going to be showing in the stream somewhere on your page and people can come in and they can comment and they make a comment and it's going to show up right here. So let's just say hello, everyone. Happy weekend because it is the weekend and we're going to go ahead and press enter and then there's the comment now the beauty behind this if you're doing a live show and especially when you're doing a live show because the comments are very very important it's a lot of fun to use the comments but the comments here you can go ahead and show them so if i wanted to go ahead and show this particular comment my comment i could go ahead and click show and it's going to show up right there 
on the screen and you can find out you can see where it's coming from you can see that this is a youtube because of the youtube uh logo right there or if you wanted to do something from facebook it would show if someone commented from facebook it would show up here as well and then if you wanted to hide it you come back over you click on it and you hide it and it's done and you don't have to you don't have to deal with it anymore and you can come on down and you can click on other comments as well here's another one let's use the Streamyard example here here's one from Streamyard. so uh live viewer comments show show up on Streamyard. Uh, this is an example. Click on the comment to show it to the screen. So this is a really, really cool thing uh, that you can use for your uh, your podcast itself. All right. So let's go ahead and jump on over here to the right hand corner. You see comments and then we can toggle on over to the banners. So we see here that there are banners and we can create lower third banners. We call them either chirons or we call them banners, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call them. You can utilize them and show them right here and they will show up as a banner. So this is a great place to where you can put a call to action. Uh, if you are getting together with your guest and you say, hey, uh, if you're mentioning something about your website, is there something that you want me to show on my screen at the time in which you're going to be talking about a particular subject, I can go ahead and push people to your website by making sure that banner shows up. And they say, oh yeah, make sure that they go to my landing page to opt into my you know, free guide or listen to my podcast or watch my YouTube video. Here's the link. And then you can go ahead and put that banner in there. So you can hide these. And then there's, of course, tickers that you can go ahead and create too. So let's say that you as the host, um, you want people to be always reminded of like, say, getting the quick start guide for uh, equipment. You can go ahead and say, have a little ticker that's running right down there. This could be something that maybe you're using as news. Um, it could be updated news. So let's, so let's say uh, you have someone that is helping you behind the scenes. They can update these tickers as you as the, as you want or as you wish. Um, it's just going to really kind of be up to you. So how do we create these? You're going to come in and you're going to see below it. It says create banner and then and of course, you can say like, uh, you know, visit my website at uh, the shan and then we'll go ahead the shanman.com and then exclamation point. And then we want to make it a scrolling bottom ticker and we're going to go ahead and click add banner and it will go ahead and add it and then you can go ahead and show and you can add as many as you want i believe right in this area and you can toggle between the ones that you want to show so you can see that it just changes uh over and over so you would have to be a really good multitasker in order to use this right so this is a really cool tool and if you want to get rid of some of these you can go ahead and get rid of them i don't need them anymore maybe you're using tickers for guests i don't know now let's just jump on over to the brand real quick and let's say the brand colors the brand colors are right now are orange because i did this to tutorial before but uh, like I said the video got corrupted but we can say it's like an orange brown let's say we want to turn this to like a bluish color um, we can do that and we, you know we can adjust you know the RGB color right here so it's really going to kind of be up to you. There's black, you know, just got to be up to you. Okay. So you can adjust this to your brand colors. And then of course you have the different themes. The default theme is with that font. Um, I don't believe you can change the font itself unless maybe you're getting into a paid plan, but I don't think you can, but see, you can see here, there's a minimal, uh, font, font right there. And you see, it's got an aerial font and I'm just like, eh, that doesn't look really, you know, it doesn't look really great. So I'm just going to leave it at default. Now here's the cool thing. You have these logos. You can have a logo on on the screen as well. So if you say like, uh, you know, I got a logo that's going to show up on the screen, you would have to use it. You could use it and put it on your, your uh, stream yard, but here you can see that you have to upgrade in order to add the logo. All right. And then you have uh, overlays here. So you see that there's already this overlay that has the stream yard overlay. It says live with StreamYard, and then if we were to go ahead and get rid of, let's see here, let's get rid of some of these banners and go back and remove them. So uh, let's hide that one right there. So you can see there's the banner right there, StreamYard live show. If we come back on over to brand, and uh, you can say like, oh, I want to hide that. You can get rid of that banner. So this is really great if you wanted to promote something or I don't know, use the banner in some creative way that you would really want to use in your StreamYard. It'd be really, really great. But uh, again, there's the logo right there. That's where it's coming from. Uh, you could put your own logo up there so it's going to be really kind of up to you and then of course here is the background we talked about the background earlier how you would upload a background here is what the background would look like so we're just going to go ahead and remove myself from the screen and that's what the background is going to look like that's the default background or maybe you want to add a different background um I, you know i don't know if i have anything that is you know you have to get an upgraded account so uh I, besides i would have to look in my hard drive to see if i had any uh, uh backgrounds to put right here but you would have to upgrade to, in order to use it so that's just something to think about if you wanted to do that. Now, if you wanted to chat with your guests when they come in, 
And uh, instead of the chat going into the normal comments themselves, you can go in and you can say like, oh, I need to talk with my guests and say like, hey, can you turn your microphone up a little bit? And that would be a private chat between you and the guests that you are having on and interviewing in this particular section. So that would be really, really helpful for you, uh, you know, doing all of this. Now, then you can go back to your settings and of course here are the settings um you know you can adjust the camera the audio you can even add green screens um and then you can look at the guests you know play a sound when the guests enter sometimes you don't want to do that sometimes you do um guests must authenticate so they may have to authenticate to make sure it's them but it's going to be completely up to you on how you are going to be managing that so if there was a case in which we were to interview someone and I were to come in and I'd say like, okay, the first step would be like, I'm setting this all up. I need to invite them. I'm going to copy this to my clipboard and I'm going to send them an email with this link. On their end, as the guest who is going to be interviewed, they are going to receive that link. And then, like I said, they are going to have to authenticate and give their give StreamYard permission to access the camera and the microphone so that they can come in. Once they jump in, they're automatically in. And then, of course, it would just be as simple as adding them from the stream. So if that so if there was another screen that was right here, you can go ahead and add them to the stream uh, screen and then you could use it as a split screen and you could use it to, as multiple split screens so I really would like you to go in and test that out if you had a guest and this is gives you a perfect opportunity to uh, really test it out ahead of time before you even go live so just remember that you have the opportunity to really play with it first before anything big happens all right so once we have this all set and let's say the scheduled date comes and we're ready to go ahead and we're, we want to go live we are just going to go ahead and go live so here you see it's all scheduled let's say we wanted to edit the date and let's say we wanted to move it up like by a day or something like that we can come in here and say like oh we want to move it to the 30th and we're ready to go and so we move it up to the 30th but let's say that we're ready to go we're gonna go live now this is where you would go live and it would stream directly to YouTube or maybe your Facebook or maybe a Periscope but for our purposes we're just gonna go directly to YouTube I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and go live so we're gonna go ahead and hit live and it says yeah are you sure you want to go live yes I do this is just an example we click live go live and It'll say, you know, you are live up in the top left hand corner of the screen where it's streaming live. You can see it's there and you can start out basically saying like, you know, hey, everybody, thanks so much for showing up on today's live show. Today's guest is going to be my friend Jeff and he is going to be talking to us about uh, Pinterest and uh, we're going to get Jeff in here very shortly. And while you're introducing your guest, they could already be here in queue because it's almost like bringing someone on stage. That's kind of the cool part about it. And then you can say like, all right, we're going to bring Jeff in and then you click on uh, you know the area right here as you'll see on the screen and then you would want to adjust like uh, how the split screen is going to look so you can have a smaller split screen or you can have a bigger split screen it's really going to be up to you and then you go hey Jeff how's it going and he's like oh, hey how you doing oh, what's going on today how have you been blah 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 and you do all the banter and you start your podcast then you can go ahead and close out your podcast and when you're done closing out your podcast you're going to hit end broadcast so we would end broadcast yes we want to end the broadcast and it would go ahead and complete the entire video. And then it's going to say, how did it go? Uh, StreamYard is always looking for feedback to see how their, um, how everything is going. We're not going to leave any feedback because we didn't do very much here. But other than that, 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 stream or that live stream is going to be done and it accomplishes not only the audio and the video being recorded together but it accomplishes that split screen itself now if you want to take it a next step further and you wanted to basically utilize StreamYard as though you were using zoom where you're downloading the audio and you're repurposing that audio for your podcast that's going to be an audio podcast then what you would need to do is you would need to go into YouTube so I don't even know if this is ready for uh, uh, rendering quite yet but we can go check so let's just go ahead and go into studio.youtube.com and we need to go to where our previous lives uh, were found and once we see that where our lives are found then we can go ahead and we can download the mp4 and from there we can rip it and and put it into adobe audition so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to start up adobe audition seems that youtube is taking a little bit of time right now the internet connection might be a little slow today i don't know what's going on here but uh we got a slower internet connection Okay, so here we are and we are in our video section of YouTube and we just gotta go to live and it'll take us to the live portion of YouTube where we've done 
our, our live videos and uh, you can see there's a StreamYard test. It hasn't done anything yet, um, hasn't uploaded anything yet. So, or no, there it is right there. It's actually, we had two, two of them. So there it is right there. Um, and all we need to do is we need to uh, come on over here to the options and we click on that and we select it. And once we select it, then it's going to give us an option to download the, uh, the, the video as an MP4. So if I went ahead and downloaded it right now, I could go ahead and download it. A window should pop up and then it should say, or right there it says, you know, downloading the MP4 and we should see it in our finder if we're using a Mac and that should show up here very shortly. Yeah, there it is right there. So that's one way that you can go ahead and you can utilize that, um, that audio for your podcast. Now, before I forget, I want to make sure that we know how to get our audio on over into, uh, uh, Adobe Audition as audio. So we're going to jump back into our um, our finder and we're going to find our StreamYard test. And we all we need to do is just drag it and put it into our bin right here. And it's going to uh, render that video uh, into audio. And then we double click it and you can see there it is in, um, in stereo. So if I go ahead and I press play. Here in Q because it's almost like bringing someone on stage. So you can see there's a preview down here on uh, Audition on the le lower left-hand corner. You can see the video, but there's no video that's gonna be rendered. It's just audio that you are using here. Click on uh, you know, the area right here as you'll see on the screen. So I certainly hope that that gives you an idea of how you would uh, pull audio into Adobe Audition. So I hope this video has helped you out. We're gonna go ahead and jump out of this StreamYard right now and return to the dashboard. But I hope this video has helped you out and it gives you another option for recording live streams for your podcast, especially if you're doing something like a video podcast. But you can easily use this as an audio podcast itself. You can record the people behind the scenes if you're not comfortable with being in front of the, uh, the camera itself. You can still utilize this just like as if you were using Zoom itself too. So um, I hope this helps out. Give it a shot. Give it a whirl. Test it out. Test it with a friend. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down in the section below on YouTube. I'd be more than happy to hear what you guys think of StreamYard. Are you using StreamYard for your own podcast or are you using another service that you think is a little bit better than StreamYard? Help out the other podcasters uh, by letting them know what you're using so they can have some options to play around with later on down the line. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Of course, you can go ahead and uh, hit that thumbs up button if this uh, tutorial has helped you out. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell button to get notified when I drop a brand new video to this particular YouTube channel. And I'm going to have a video uh, either, I think it's on this side, uh, that's going to be helpful for you, possibly maybe about Zoom. And it will teach you all about how you can utilize Zoom for your podcast and recording your own podcast. In the meantime, you guys have a great week and we will be talking to you next time. See ya.